because I've literally just booked my flight to Australia. So my flight is booked for March 1st, coming back September the 1st. Doors. Um, seven solar powered trail cameras they're quite good quality you know not cheap they look like this and uh, trial one at the moment see how long it lasts in uh, dull conditions yeah if all goes well then I'm gonna buy another 30 or so and then take them with me on the plane So we may have a problem. I wanted to use the Mavic 3 thermal drone whilst I'm in Australia because it has a flight time of 45 minutes. But I've just realised that DJI Australia don't sell that drone. Um, looks like that. So I don't know what to do now. So I'm going to have to try and... Right, so the other thing I'm trying to sort out is transport. Every time I use the drone for an hour or two, I'm going to have to drive on a few miles. But I want to kind of save money, so my plan is to sleep in the car in the outback. I may have found found um, a car. It's a van. It's like this. I don't know if you can see that. Um, hopefully you can. Yes, it's a, it's a van. It's red, so it's not exactly conspicuous. So I hope uh, the police don't knock on it too often when I'm trying to sleep in it and stuff. But yeah, the idea is put a mattress in the back and I can just drive to where I need to go to when I'm trying to use the drone and find places to put out all the trail cameras. which I'm planning on having about 40. What I'm trying to do is um, I'm trying to practice finding my trail camera. So I'm going to have to find them every six weeks. I'm going to have to find 40 trail cameras. So, and it's very easy to lose them. Um, so basically I'm here at the park to try and find where I left the trail camera uh, a couple of days ago. I, I took a picture on Google Maps of the location when I was standing next to the camera. So I'm going to use that now. Uh, and I also took a picture of a slightly unusual looking tree where the camera is as an extra precaution. I'm going to go and find the camera now. Okay, so I've pretty much um, found... I've pretty much found where I need to be looking at the maps. So the camera should be somewhere around here. Um, is, but I'm trying to really just go by what the maps uh, said. So I can't see it at the moment. <sighs> now the thing is I'm going to have to do this like 40 times so that's why I'm trying to just use the maps and the photo I took because memory isn't going to work so well. Now I'm going to try and use the photo I took. Okay, so it's um, it's bad news because basically the trail camera which I put out and taken, so it's been stolen. I'm sure this was the right place. So, so yeah, that's a bit of a downer, you know. Um, that's just one camera I put out and it's been stolen. 
Uh, so I'm going to have to carry on practicing but without actually using cameras. Otherwise So this is to say I've bought this little camcorder, right? It's uh, it's very small. It's very small. It's like an old camcorder, 10 or 20 years old, but the optical zoom is really good on it. So it's, I think, 46 times optical zoom. Everybody has uh, mobile phones or cell phones on them. The digital zoom is good and the camera's good quality, but the, the optical zoom is not good. Despite what people say, actually less people are walking around with good cameras than they were in the 90s and the 80s. Okay, so I've got two more trail cameras. This time I haven't ordered loads, I've just ordered... ordered one of each one so I can test them. So they're both by a company called Uso Good. One, this was the slightly cheaper one. Okay, and this is the other one. This one's quite expensive, um, about a hundred pounds. Okay, so I've tested this one. It seems to hold its battery quite well. The images are seem to be good enough, so I'm going to order another 10 and go from there. So I've put the uh, the orangey trail camera uh, in situ to see whether it sticks out much. And I don't know, do you think that sticks out much? It's not too bad. Far away from the side. I mean, from here, you can't really see it. Okay, guys, so I think we have, um, I guess this is probably the new drone that's arrived in this box, I think. And this, I don't know, could be the batteries. This is the battery kit, if you can see that. Um, so I'm hoping to charge that up in my car when I'm in Australia. Okay, and in here we have the new Mavic three thermal drone so this is what we're hoping is going to do the business so i've opened it up we can see this is the remote control i'm going to be using um to take that off there i guess okay there we go it's a bit more like it and then in here we have the actual drone so there we go Okay, so we have success. At least the batteries are charging up. The car engine's on, and the uh, this thingy is plugged in, and the batteries look to be charging up. So I'm going to test see how long it takes. Um, I'll need to do eight batteries a day, hopefully. drone batteries I'm, I'm trying to put the revs up a bit to see whether it makes it quicker when I'm in Australia um, and then I was also trying sleeping in the back you know because I'm gonna have to be sleeping in the back of the car so that's gonna be interesting I've realized that a, ma a single mattress is actually too long to fit in the back of a car you know I'll sort something out <laughs> Basically here, I've got all the trail cameras and I need to get those ones in as well in those two boxes. So basically I'm trying to put the trail cameras in the case and the idea is that I'm going to wrap them in towels 
you know, like wrap each individual one kind of thing, like that. And I'm hoping that it's going to be enough. Yeah, so here they are, my cases ready to go, uh, pretty much. 